What we're going to do today is show you how to bore sight a rifle without all the expensive lasers and collimators and bore sight equipment. We're going to do it old school, right? Nothing but some sandbags. So in a later video, we're going to show you how to make sandbags. These are some homemade sandbags just with some burlap. I took some uh, play sand from Lowe's, $3.50 a bag, threw some garbage bags in there so the sand didn't leak out and mar my finish, and just uh, filled it up, duct taped the, the bag closed and then I got me some nice sandbags. So out here, I've got my target, it's 50 yards. I've taken the bolt out of the rifle so that I can get behind the gun, look down the barrel, and line the barrel up with the actual target, okay? So I've got Basically, I'm seeing the bullseye of the target through the barrel. And then without moving the gun, I'm going to look through the sights and see where the sights are, okay? Then I'm just going to move my sights to where they line up with the bullseye. The bore's lined up with the target, and then I put the scope crosshairs on the target. Put the bolt back in the gun. Okay, so we got on paper, all right, which is about all you can expect with the bore sight. Uh, probably could have been a little bit more accurate, but uh, since this was completely off paper before, just put that scope on there, that's a good way of uh, saving some ammunition. Now I'll tell you another tip what you can do. You put it back on the sandbags where it's not moving, okay? This is where your point of aim is. There's your point of impact. What you can do is then move your reticle to where you hit, and that should bring it back down here, okay? And then you can start firing groups and see how your group is, okay? So that's just a quick tip, and until next time, you can always catch online, www.tngun.com.